It's Monday morning and our teams will be going to their day jobs in a couple of hours time. But before that, they need to take advantage of every available minute because they need to deliver the second bedroom in seven days. There's no time to rest around here unless, of course, you're the proud owners of a winning room with an extra $10,000 in prize money towards your renovation budget. That was such a great feeling to hear that people of such calibre walked into our room and said, wow, when, you know, I'm a dietitian and... I'm a sports scientist. Yeah. That bunch was, bunch was of ordinary people. Ordinary people. Just, That's you know, all we, we are. Can, we can beat the, the tradies and the experts. For the rest of the teams at the block, it's game on. They all desperately need a win or risk being left behind with not enough budget to finish. Well, look, it's really bad if Jake and Aaron win the next one, and only because it gives them a huge advantage. Uh, it gives them that, that much more money again. A bit low yesterday, but I think everyone was a bit low. Um, there was going to always be three losers. It's hard to get motivated for the next room when you're sort of on a low. When I look back and I think it's, you know, that was a fair win. I look at it differently to a lot of other people. I think that that drives me to, to keep going, not just sort of, oh yeah, just put a room out there. Which I'm not saying I did that last week, but I like to think, oh, well, there's a bit of competition there and it's good. Keeps you on your toes. Another big week. I've got to try and do something more uh, designer friendly with my room. Try and get it over the line. Because uh, I think, I don't think my room had the punch that the um, winners had. So I think I need to try and find that. Attempt to. Huh. With my limited design techniques. We came here as the underdogs, you know, we're the only people that don't have any trade experience. Then we sort of came out and, and beat everyone. So they were, they were pretty happy with that, and um, especially in the first week. However, this is a brand new week, and that lack of trade experience is about to come crashing down on our winning team. I'm over here in the corner where the um, cupboard used to be. Jake. Wait, 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 wait. Holy snapping ducks legs, what was that? Yeah, what the heck, what was that? What happened? Did you hear that bang? Look at it, look at the ceiling. No way, look at that. With, ta-da. We're just trying to get the corners the off. Corners, yeah. <laughs> and then everything fell. The whole ceiling. The whole ceiling just went boof. We said we wanted the whole ceiling to fall down, but just. We wanted it eventually down, but probably not at that time. No, we didn't think it was all going to come at once. <laughs> But on the block, while one mishap may put you two steps ahead, another mishap will put you three steps behind. Every time I turn on the sander, it just keeps shorting my mains. It's not, it's just shorting itself. It just can't take the power of the sander. Look, Kitty. No, we're going to have to take, take all... Pull the plugs out. When I turn it off, just turn on the sander, just hold it down. Hang on. Nothing. Come and get that's the only thing that's plugged in. It shouldn't short it. I've only got a little bit left, so I have to make the most of my time. Oh, that's really good. Yeah, 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 that's really it's gone. Did that short hours then? Yeah. It's it what? Turned hours off as well. It did. Do you yeah. want me, I'll switch it on the mains. Every single minute counts. You can't afford stuff ups, really. It's disgusting getting ready on a construction site. Going to work when you've got a million things in your mind, all you want to do is do stuff here to get things organised, but you can't because you're at work, and then you've got to come home and work all night, get up and work all morning, and then get ready and go to work. It's a nightmare. It's ridiculous. This is not real life. People don't actually ever do this. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready to rock and roll. Hey, Aaron. Yeah? Did you turn the power off? No, Brenton came in and did something. Brenton! Brenton! Maybe he's going to work already. Well, what are we supposed to do? I don't know. Because I couldn't get it to work. Maybe just go turn it off at the main and turn it back on and see if that works. Well, he shouldn't have touched our pair anyway. Well, he shouldn't have, should he? 
how he's supposed to do it. Like, ten people here trying to do things, he's got no bloody power. <laughs> Let's turn these back on. The power good. problem has cost Erin and Jake the valuable time they saved this morning with the ceiling collapse. Good morning. But even with tradies working throughout the day, a thousand jobs, big and small, still await the return of all our exhausted teams when they get back home. After a hard day at work, it's nice to come home and put the luxurious job of stripping this 50-year-old wallpaper off. This colour's going to be on the wall. This colour's going to be the bed head. So that will be there, which I'm having a go at making myself. That will be interesting. <laughs> And then this colour is going to be on the inside of the cupboard doors. Walk into the room, there's a bed with a bed head that I'm going to make myself, then a really nice big picture, some um, nice linen, little glass side table with a fantastic light. And then on the other side, instead of having two side tables, we're mixing up a bit and going floor lamp. Well, the room this week, we felt maybe we've got to spend our time with the little things more in the room, and maybe that's why we didn't do as well. So. We might this time try and find our feminine side more and find those things that make the room look better. So as you walk into the room, we'll have a cupboard on your immediate left and then a double bed with quite a lot of cushions with a couple of bedside tables, maybe a lamp, because the other side table will have tea hub and tea box. We'll throw a hamper in the corner because it is a guest room. TV on the wall, of course, and maybe a couple of other creative things on the wall to make it look good. Now I'm just getting my new floor sander because my one this morning actually stuffed up. Well, oh, that was a bit of a drama this morning. <laughs> it was a drama, wasn't it? I was just about to finish my floors off and then all of a sudden the sanding <laughs> machine just started shorting out my power. So it was a bit of a shambles. Then I even switched off Jake and Aaron's because I tried the power on theirs. They, I don't think they were too happy about it. <laughs> yeah, he did leave the scene of that crime. <laughs> <laughs> he did. He took off without telling us. <laughs> the power's back on now, isn't it? So no one's hurt. Mm. The only reason we found it is because I went to yeah, the open fridge. the fridge and I was like, the light didn't come on. Where's our power? Yeah, like your life food didn't get no, it's, wrecked. I know. They could have come and told us that the power was off. If they've got an issue, they should just come and see me. Oh, well, it's all fixed now, which is the main thing, and we got power back in the place and we found the problem, so... No hard feelings. We'll just go short so I get their board tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, they've got 10 grand up their sleeve. What are they whinging about, huh? <laughs> <laughs> so we didn't finish uh, varnishing the floor until about 2 o'clock this morning and then got up at 4.30 to go training, so a little bit tired now, but oh, do it. Come on, come on, come on and let go. Johnny. Oh, excellent. Thank you. Oh, cup of tea. Yeah, and then I'm... Veggie mile on toast. What else course. do you want? Breakfast and champions. Doors, 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 cornices, cornices, doors, cornices. This is all we do for the first four days. No wonder we don't have time to decorate. Upstairs, Melbourne couple Shez and Brenton need all the time they can get at the moment. Because on top of the room they will deliver this Sunday, they have decided to redo the room they delivered last Sunday as well. This is our original bedroom one that we stuffed up. Room two could very possibly be suffering obviously by us spending more time on this room. However, I would rather lose room two and then have a, a much better overall finish at the end of the day. Across the hall, Erin is well into the planning stage of their second bedroom. I'm just checking it's going to work for where we're going to put our furniture and cupboards and things like that. So our second bedroom is set up as a home office slash chill out area. And when you walk in on your left hand side is a desk with a nice lamp and the right hand corner is a slinky couch with a tall floor lamp and a little ottoman. A chandelier hanging from the ceiling in the middle and on the right hand side is a storage unit for your files and like a bookshelf. I think the main attraction for me having a home office is it's just something 
um, a little bit different for you know, a professional couple that needs a space to chill out and do their work and you, know, you don't want to be on the kitchen bench doing it. It's 9am and that means everyone is off to work. But because Shez and Brenton hail from Melbourne, they've both taken up new jobs here in Sydney. For Brenton, that means trading one building site for another. Around this time, I'm doing all the hard labour. From one building site to another, it never stops. When I leave this place, I think to myself, how the hell am I going to work another eight hours? And it's even more intense than here. It's not just physical, it's also mental when you get back there, so it's, it's very hard. Just getting some cash out. Obviously, going from the block to a professional environment, concentration span is just not there. Also, trying to think about things that I've got to organise and have ordered and done by 4 o'clock today and, you know, tomorrow morning at 5am. Unlike Brenton, Shez gets to escape the building site at home for a clean office job. It is nice to have a bit of time out, though, definitely, and not be all dusty and actually have a bit of a lunch break and sit down for half an hour. And I can try and think of layout and how furniture's going to work within a space because I just don't have the capacity, you know, to do that uh, at the block. My room design this week, the bed's going to be in the middle of the room. It will have a bed head and a bed base in a light coloured timber. We've also got like a bent wood coloured timber chair that will match, a shelf above the bed, and then just one single bedside table in a built in robe on the side, and then a really sexy little rug. That's just hard. Like, I know. You I go know. to work, you do construction, uh, and you're building, and you're picking up bricks and digging holes, and then coming back and then going killer. to bed at 12 Yeah. That's, I know. That's not easy. This is definitely the hardest thing we will. Yeah. We have done all yeah. we'll ever do. It's the end of another long work day, and the start of another long work night at the block. So much more to do. Will we have time? <laughs> Who knows? Delivering the second bedroom in five days' time is tough going. There's also an entire apartment renovation ahead of them as well. Honey, I'm home. This is our life for eight weeks, living in dust and rubble and crap. So I've decided to deliver them a surprise to help keep them on track. Team meeting! Chop, chop. Here they come. Oh, here we are. Good to see you. How are you, boys? I'm not kissing you. No, I'm not kissing you either. How are you? How are you? Hello. Oh, it's kisses all around. This is fantastic. Right. I'm going to give you a little bit of a heads up as to what you're doing next week. And it's going to be the ensuite. Now, it's vital that you get this room right. If you want to attract the buyers, they're going to spend the big bucks on your apartment. So I'm going to give you a little bit of a head start. Now, as of tonight, you can start construction of your ensuite. So now you're doing two rooms. Yeah, well. it's, good, it's shattered me, I have to say. Mm. Only because I'm trying to do two rooms already, now I'm trying to do a third room. It's going to be very tight to do Everything in a week when normally you do it in like a month. <laughs> now, I'm assuming that you've seen some plans and you roughly know what's going on with your ensuite. And as you realise, you're all going to need one of these. Yeah. 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 the ladies. Yeah. Yeah. Over here. Oh, there you go. He's going to get it out of Mark and Duncan. <laughs> and uh, you guys can make your own. Oh, there you go. Right on. Chop, chop, work to do. Always a pleasure to see you. Yes, <laughs> I thought it would be. Beat it. Back to work. We're at a real disadvantage, we are. Never renovated, everybody else has. And we don't have a clue where to go or who to call. Courts is feeling a bit down in the dumps this week. Last week it was me, this week it's him. This week, just today? Just today. I feel like you felt like that yesterday too. Because this is the hardest work ever. It's just a bad day, that's all. Bad day at the office. Bad day at the office, moving bricks. Today's going to be the worst day ever. We're going to be trying to do three rooms. Can't say it's time to get up. It's so hard to get up when you've only had three hours, three hours, three hours. This is not my cup of tea. You know, I'm an eight hour a night girl. 
We're gonna finish off bedroom one. Put another coat on this, try and sand the ceiling. Start the ensuite. Ugh. To create the ensuite, the teams will be required to move the existing floor plan around. The old kitchen moves to the other end of the apartment, leaving way for the master bedroom. The old toilet and hallway will be closed in to make way for the new ensuite. The only problem is there's a solid wall between the master bedroom and the ensuite. Nothing that can't be fixed with a bit of brute force. Ladies and gentlemen, that's your doorway. Aaron, yep. bring your sledgehammer. Woo! Woo! Hey, got it! All yours. Thanks, buddy. Don't trust me? I don't trust you. <laughs> All okay. right, ready? Yeah, yeah. That's it. Give it some. Good job. Oh. Trust you're a bloody lethal weapon with that hammer. A woman's work is never done. While the girls demolish the walls, the boys have an appointment yeah. with their softer side. Would you like a coffee? Yes. Last week, the judges were unhappy with their attention to detail. I'm a bit disappointed in the detail. It looks like they've just taken it out of the package and thrown it on. So this week, the lads have brought in a couple of styling experts to explain the mysteries of decorating. I actually got a few hints on making beds from Freedom, and uh, I think this time uh, I might be able to do the beds so it's actually half decent. You covered all your edges, so you're now having your fold always facing that way. Just take this slow. We're only new at this. OK, so what you want to do... And so here? we're out of our element here, but we're going to give it a go with this room. In scatter cushions. Just don't laugh, OK? I'm not going to laugh. It's hard bit for me to laugh. <laughs> I don't know. You're laughing. Uh, no. You're laughing. I'm not no. laughing. I'm I haven't laughed at all. I thought it's like that. I'm sorry. If so all else fun. fails, you can become a florist. Waiting? Yep. Oh, well oh. done. Oh. That was quite funny, though, wasn't it? Watch that. Oh, them shaking his head into the bed and that. Something like that. I hope you remember how the pillows thing goes. Yeah. Well, you know, we took the photos. Yeah, we got on the computer there, so. Oh, well, that's all right. Well, the camera the took photos. the photos, not my brain. Surely something we can do is follow a photo. Look, as long as we're taking the photo. Oh, come the on. The good thing is the vase is done. So I didn't take them out again. Didn't really see the point of doing that. Having now mastered the art of floral arrangement, the two tradies feel they need to celebrate man style by shopping for some high-tech boys' toys. Okay, so here's the tea box. It's um, Telstra's internet-connected digital set-top box. Um, so you can watch your TV like you would on a regular set-top box. There's seven big one TV channels. You've got uh, music, you've got sport, you've got NRL, AFL, V8 um, supercars. That's great. It's a fantastic product. Wow. Let's great. take one of them. Oh, Don't worry. Oh. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. Excellent. Easy done. Next toy, a telly with the lot. Which one do you reckon is probably oh, the best for what we need? This with the new S series. It's got full high definition tuner, Skype, SD card, USB slot. This is basically top of the range. Oh, I like that one. Oh, I don't think there's any choice. I think that's the one. Well, that's all very good, isn't it? I think that was very clever of us, wasn't it? Oh, it was very clever. Don't you think? We've been very clever, clever getting in here today. And clever, getting... clever, clever, clever. That's right. I've never seen anything more clever than us. Nisha and John are delivering a study slash bedroom this week. To pull it off, they need to find the right type of artwork, the type they both agree on. Today I'm at Freedom and I'm going to try and see if I can find a picture to go on the wall. I don't like the frames. What? So is this for this room? Yeah. It's going to be above the bed. Yeah, that looks good. I never know what I'm asking you. Meanwhile, back at the block, Jake and Erin plough ahead with their on sweep. <laughs> Go you! Go you, Jake! They have plans to move the existing waste Go pipe to the shower. Yeah, but because they are directly above John and Nisha's apartment, they head downstairs to assess the situation as it requires drilling through John and Nisha's ceiling. Oh, that's all, we can make a new hole. Yeah. Unfortunately, no one told John. Oh. 
mantras, mate. Shit, get rid of that. It's just pissing me off. I'm gonna clean up his mess or what? I'll come up and throw a bucket of mud on your friggin' floor. Well, they didn't ask me directly, so, you know. When I mean, they drilled the hole through the, um, their core, a little, a little bit of um, mud fell on their clean, polished floors. And they... <laughs> <laughs> I could just be being tired and emotional, but the least they can do is respect. Just come down and ask, can I cut a hole in your floor? It's not a free for all. Yeah, it's just a little bit, a little bit disrespectful. Across the hall, tradies Mark and Duncan have also had their fair share of problems from their upstairs neighbours. First, it was a water leak from Shez cleaning the bathroom. Hi, guys. We've lost all our power. Yeah. Our lights. Because we've got water dripping <gasps> upstairs. Huh? A couple of days later, it was a water leak from an overflowing bucket. No water in our ceiling. Well, unless we're getting rid of the drip. And it's more like a constant flow now. What the hell's this? Today, it's another leak. But this one's a doozy. I think we've got a problem with uh, stain coming from uh, upstairs down onto the deck there, Doug. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. Yeah. Hello? Hi. Hi. Hey, how you going, Hello. mate? How you going? All right, what's happening? Can we walk out the back onto the deck there? Yeah. yeah. Come with me. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, show me. Uh-oh. On the deck. What? Is it dust or what is it? Is it on... Where does that come from? Have you been tipping it out here, Shaz? Yeah, amongst the rubble and the, the dust. Where else am I going to tip it? I thought it would... I didn't know it would go through the ground. Yeah, it was amongst all the... Where it's going to go? Because it's dust, so I thought it would soak it up. No. Well, Mark's just come up and told me where Shaz has been tipping out of the stain. It's been leaking onto their balcony and stained all their timber. Those neighbours have been nothing but trouble since they moved in I upstairs. I know that. <laughs> it's all been a little bit, um, you know, it's the house of liquids apparently up there, but this time she's going to have to come down and clean it herself. There's a few dirty marks at the other end too from That's us, right. though, but... Um... And our bathroom's a mess. Yeah. <laughs> what have I done? What have I done? I just feel angry and emotional and it's... No sleep's getting to me and I want to smash that brick and throw it somewhere. Oh. I'm just going to calm down. And look at me. I'm a mess. Ugh. This place is shitting me. It's Saturday morning on the block and less than a day until room delivery. And no one has had more than four hours sleep. Stuff today, really struggling today. I cleaned out the ensuite last night. We also painted our ceiling, our skirtings, architraves. I've got so much dust in my hair. Look, I reckon if I did this, my hair would stay. You would not believe your eyes. Because it's Saturday, there's a mad rush to do anything involving power tools. As council noise restrictions kick in at one o'clock. That's going to be all day, that noise, I think to one o'clock, so it's going to be driving me nuts. I don't know what, there must be in the bathroom. So I'm just trying to get this done before one, because then we can't make any more noise. 9.54, 10. We've got three hours. This is the best part of this show, smashing stuff down. Under the pump, there's about three tradesmen working flat stick in every apartment, so it's, everyone's pretty busy. Oh. I need walls up. No yeah. walls, no pipes. Yeah. We just have to drill a hole. Oh, it's just, it's just a hanging up. One o'clock means tools down. Now that's close. Done. That's it. Done. And that's the perfect time to see where they're at ahead of judging at 9am tomorrow. Noise, 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 noise. Hey, 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 hey. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's going on? It's the last cut, Scotty. No, there's no more cuts. <laughs> there's 
There's Bye. no Bye. more cuts. Hello, mate. Scott. How you going, mate? Paul. Bye. Hello, Paul. Nice to meet you, mate. You too. If you put that on again, fine. $10,000. 10000 10000 Our prize from last week. Correct. <laughs> right, uh, come on, let's go and have a look at the room. Yes. Now, winners are grinners. Yeah. That's right. You've got an extra 10000 in the budget. We do. Yeah. So you think you're pretty special? Yep. <laughs> I thought you might. We've done something pretty special with some of the money so far. Yeah. We've been shopping at Freedom. And... Oh, have you spent some of the money? Yeah, I spent about five grand on this room. On this room? Like in terms of furniture, yeah. And you've got a lot of painting to do. Yep. Nice and you've right. got skirting to be done. And you've got electrical to be done. When's the electrical going in? It's in now. It's in now. You just I'm just going to put... Hey, wait, wait, it's in now. There we are. There's four holes in the ceiling and there's a wire <laughs> sticking out. That's not in. It's not even close to in. <laughs> are you planning on having much sleep tonight? Yep. See you at 9 o'clock tomorrow. That's all right. <laughs> See you, mate. Good luck. Well done. It looks terrific. Thanks, Thanks mate. Thanks, Scotty. See ya. Watch your step. We're a little bit behind. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to how the room's going to go, but I think it's going to be another all-nighter. <laughs> You're all a bit dirty. You've been working. I working reckon. hard. Right. It looks good. Just a few minor touch-ups. Minor touch-ups. Hey, what's going on here? Jip rock. New jip rock on the yeah. walls. New walls, Scotty. Had to be done. Fantastic. That's good. Attention yeah. to detail. That's what they see. Yeah. So we know last time possibly might have let you down. Mm. Yeah, the rough walls yeah. and things like that. They see that yeah. straight away. We knew where we went wrong. We've got to learn from our mistakes and get a better finish. Yeah. We actually um, fixed the room next door as well, all the flooring. We repolished all the floors. So you ripped out all the furniture yeah. and redid the floors next door. Yeah. And did this room. Yeah. And the ensuite as yeah. well. Yeah. Three rooms. Yeah. Well, look, you've put in a massive effort. You look dirty and tired, and that's what you're supposed to look like. <laughs> and this room is showing that. Mm. It looks great. Yeah. Mm. Thanks, Scotty. The judges are going to love it tomorrow. Thanks, Scotty. Nine o'clock. Thanks, Mark. Good, Good luck. Thanks, Scotty. See ya. Bye. See ya. Hello. Oh, hello. Okay, let's have a look. Well, we're doing a guest room, or you yeah. can use it for an older child, or study. Well, I really like the finishes here already. You've done all the walls and the ceiling, and this looks like a brand new room. Yeah, yeah. I know. You've done a great job. It's yeah. hard to believe what it was. I love the bed head and the painting I that I made matches. that bed head myself. You made that? And you put a little bit of foam in there, and then stapled it all together. Yeah, yeah. I know. Your missus is a I genius. Know. I know. And I think you've done a great job. Nine o'clock tomorrow. Thank you, I'll see you. Good luck. Thank you. Bye, thank right, you. Thanks, Scott. Bye. Thanks for coming. Hello. Hello. Saturday inspection time. Yeah, oh. Good on you. There you go, How mate. How you going, boys? Yeah, good, mate. Good. Good. Good set. Right, you've gone with the ceilings again. Yeah, that'll go through. Well, we're committed. Way. Yeah, you've committed. Yep. Good on you. I love those ceilings. Yeah. Everybody. It didn't win it the first time, but we're going to keep with it and do a bit more dressing this time. Now, tell me what's so different about this room? At the moment. Uh, well, we're going high tech. Oh. Wow. Yep. That's, That's come out of the budget for this room. Yes. So uh, what are we calling this room? Or, uh, like a media room? That's a guest room. That's a guest room. It's a guest, guest room. room. Have a double bed. Yeah. You'd like to be a guest in this room, wouldn't you? Well, wouldn't that's you? what I said. Yeah. Yeah. The T-Box gives you access to YouTube, Big Pond movies. Good, right, Good luck. Yeah, we'll be You're there. You've done really well. I love it. Thanks, buddy. Nine o'clock tomorrow. OK, okay. see you there. Today, I actually feeling pretty good about the whole situation. Feeling good better? Spirits, yeah. you got, you've got your zing back? Yeah. Mm. It's such a roller coaster ride, isn't it? It is. Yeah, it's only week two. If it makes you feel better, John and Nisha said that they're ready to call it quits this week as well. Oh, that's, that does make me feel better. <laughs> Tonight's the last night before our second room reveal. Yep. I'd say this was the biggest day we've had on the block. Yeah. Hello. Hi. What are you doing, sweetie? I've stuffed up. You're a doofus. I'm a doofus. Erin, it's such a good job of <laughs> bogging. You puttied up our hinges the... by accident. We're hopeless. Why did, why did we do this to ourselves? It's judgment day. And as soon as the sun is up, it's all systems go to meet the 9am deadline. Oh, chair, beautiful. Oh, Erin. Oh. Watch me trip and dribble the paint on the carpet. Um, how long do we have? Quicker, quicker.
That's it. Are you guys still working? <laughs> How'd you go? Hey! Ah. Oh, imagine seeing you here again. Good morning. What are the odds? Good morning. Morning. Uh, oh, yeah. Everybody looks very fresh. We are. Oh, we are. Well, look, you all should be very, very proud of yourselves. And I just want to say I'm glad that I'm not judging it. But we all know who is. So now it's over to the judges. Each week, our rooms are judged by Bell Magazine's Neil Whitaker and real estate guru John McGrath to decide which team has added the most value to their apartment. This week for room two, we did a guest room, bedroom, office space. Yes. In a classic contemporary style. Well, classic style with a contemporary edge. Wow. Good first impression. Very good first impression. This looks quite like it's luxurious guest bedroom, which is a nice compliment to last week. Oh, we've done the best we can. Yeah, we're happy with it. Good colour scheme. They've kept that same colour scheme, that very neutral sort of putty colour. Yes. Um, which I think gives it a great sense of space. It makes the room immediately feel bigger. Now, the sign outside, though, said it was a study, so I'm not seeing it being a study. Maybe this has something to do with it. Uh-huh. The concealed office. That's clever. It's kind, of, kind of cool. It works. Mm. All right, well, let's go and see what's next. Great. The design this week, well, we're going for a, a room that would suit a teenager, probably, or a guest, uh, or a couple of guests, because we decided to go for the double bed. Well... <laughs> Another good room. Yeah, another really good first impression. It's quite intimate. I mean, I know they've got some good lighting here, but it feels quite cosy, which is, which is kind of nice. And it feels quite resolved, quite finished. If you remember last week, we had that uh, reservation about how they hadn't really finished it. They hadn't sort of, yes. they hadn't got the details. We decided this week we really had to address the dressing of the room because it was lacking in the last room. And we, we accepted that and we we're up for the challenge. I think they've got this, the message because they've they really gone to have. town on it. In fact, if I was being critical, first impression, they've almost gone too much to town. It feels a little bit cluttered. Again, these aren't big rooms and I think you need to dress them up, but maybe not overdress them. Well, I'd have to say the best part of the room is probably the media equipment that's in there. The only thing the judges will pick up in there will be the remote controls to start that. I thought it was just a good old-fashioned TV, but it's not, is it? Yeah. And, you know, certainly for, you know, maybe the younger yeah. generation that ends up being the buyer here, I think they'll come in and there will be some wow factor, and wow yeah. factor can generally lead to dollars. But I think overall, it's, it's a big improvement from yeah. where they were last week. This week our design was a New York-style office with a chill-out sort of corner. Oh, wow. <laughs> the black look. Well, it's certainly theatrical as it was last week, isn't it? OK, so this room is saying loud and clear, I am a study. It's a risk. They're taking a risk. Because a lot of buyers, I mean, you would imagine that people can come in and say, well, it's a study or it could be a second bedroom. Yeah. My experience is if you dress it up with, with such obvious intention here as to study, a lot of people see it as a two bedroom and a study. Yes. So that, that might actually mark against them come yeah. auction day. Yeah. I guess what I like about these guys is they've got a very clear vision as to what they want to do. And right or wrong, they're not going to die wondering about it. They're going to roll it out, and, yeah. and I imagine we might get a little bit more of this in the next few weeks. Risky. Risky but sexy. Yeah. Okay, so this is last week's room, John. They had a light floor last week. Dark floor and the furniture's changed somehow. Yeah, this is a new piece here. New lamp. It's a better sense of space somehow. Let's see what they've done next door. Uh, this week for room two, it's a similar theme to room one. Art Deco materials, um, sort of the contemporary sort of vibe, and mm. a little bit beachy, lots of white flowy fabrics. For me, the initial impression is, is pretty good. I mean, they've got the dark floors and they've got the lighter coloured bed heads. I think it's a bit better than last week for mm. me. I, I, I'm not sure yet I'm in love with, <laughs> the, with where these guys are taking these rooms, but... I mean, I actually don't mind it. I quite like it. 
everything, yeah, everything is slightly wacky, slightly off-centre. Mm. I mean, literally off-centre when you look at what they've put above the bed. I think if they were going to pick up a negative, it would again be our finishes and probably our flooring. Yeah. The floors, I can see where they're going, but I'm still not sure the detail. It looks like they could have spent a little bit more time yeah. on the sanding and staining. It just wasn't enough time. We're not flooring and specialists. We actually did it backwards, so it just didn't turn out exactly how we wanted. Ah, uh, boys. Hi. Hey, Scott. Well, I've seen all the rooms. I think they're amazing, but it's not up to me. What did you guys think? I think they've really raised the bar this week. They were all good, but right. two were particularly good. Sure. And for different reasons. You know, one of them was a really simple theme. The other one that was very close had thrown everything at this week's room, and sometimes less is more, and I mm. think that mm. in this instance it might have been. But they were neck and neck. It was another yeah. photo finish, wasn't it? Absolutely. So, do we have a winner? Yes. I think we do. We've come up with one. Great. On the tally board this week for bedroom two, Nisha and John spent $6,457. Mark and Duncan invested in their dressing and electronics this week and spent $6,175. Erin and Jake spent $6,916 using a big slice of their 10 grand winnings from last week. And Shez and Brenton spent the most with $7,331. Time to see if it was money well spent. OK, are we ready? All standing at attention, waiting and ready to go. <laughs> Judgment has been made. Feedback this week from the judges. They'd like for me to tell you that you've raised the bar this week. So they were very impressed. They did say that you can go too far in a room. Sometimes less is more. The judges did also tell me that it was a photo finish. It was this close. Ah, oh, we've heard that before. <laughs> <laughs> no, they really did struggle between a couple of the rooms. Now for the all important prize. What are we fighting for this week? As you know, we've got two bathrooms and next week we're doing an ensuite. So the winner this week gets 5,000 bucks from Reese Plumbing Supplies to go towards their bathrooms. Very, very handy. But you also get, from Freedom Kitchens, an upgrade to a Caesar stone bench top. And that is a big advantage within a kitchen, Caesar stone on the bench tops. The winner for week two is John and Nisha. Thank you. Yay, ground floor, eh? Yay, ground floor. Thank you so much. Thank you. Now, I'm sure you're all very keen to get inside and see the winning room. So I now declare the block open for inspection. Off you go. Stuff. We did it. We did so well with everything. Actually, really chocolate Oh, very nice. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? Good Can't believe Nisha made that herself. That is spot on. It's got a nice feel, doesn't it? You sort of feel like a warm home feel to it. Mm. Love the cupboards. Great space saving idea. And you can still put all your clothes and stuff in there. I think this corner is my favourite part of the room. Yeah. It's nice, simple, like it's clean, it's good, it's got your know, chair, your bedside, your cupboards, like that sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. Good on them. Ground floor gets a win. Ground floor does get a win. So, so good on them. They pick up their spirits. You did good. Team Pitt. Team Pitt. <laughs> Crazy. Uh, yeah, so here we are, we've had a great time tonight, and here's the winners. We go, hey! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Victory. <laughs> 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 We've had a great. Will you shut up? You won. You don't need to keep going.